My name is Earl Slick, and I played guitar on Toy. Just did what I always did with DB, you know? Came in, played my guitar. Before we did Toy, we, we did some gigs. I don't say it was a tour per se, but there was gigs, and I'm pretty sure Glastonbury was before that, 2000. So uh, I fell back into the thing very easy. The one thing about uh, David and myself over the years, uh, our working relationship was easy. It was, it was always like falling up a log. And then when I had come back at the end of 99 or early 2000, these, every, uh, everybody but Mike Garson were all new to me. And so I was a little apprehensive about who the new guys were, but the first day I went in there, I was really comfortable. So that all fell into place and, and that helped too. And you know, and um, yeah, it, it, was, it was like, we didn't miss a beat. We didn't miss a beat. We went in the studio with a really damn good rock and roll band and we played them live, basically. I mean, when I say live, not only live at, at shows, but when we went in the studio, we weren't, you know, uh, Mark Plotty, uh, producer, he wasn't of that mindset that some producers get into, oh, we have to make it all modern now. No, we, we played the songs as the songs needed to be played, which was we all got in a room together and played like a real rock and roll band. And I think that's why the record came out the way it did. And I think it helped that we did have, with, with, well, I call it the new band, because I was new to the band, that we had shows under our belt. So by the time we got to the studio, it felt like a band. Once we would get a basic arrangement down, we would run through it, you know, uh, just as a warm up. And basically, once we started recording, the first one without a bunch of mistakes on it was the take. I mean, because, I don't know, that's what the energy is to me. Songs like London Boys and, 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 and the other tracks that ended up on Toy, I was, I was unaware of any of that stuff. Uh, so to me, it was all new stuff. Uh, obviously, once we started playing them, you can tell just from the, the writing style that they were early. Uh, and then he explained to us what they were. You know, so we, did, we were doing them live before. We didn't do a lot of shows, but we were doing them live before we recorded them. Yeah, they were... It was, you could tell, it was his early writing days. Yeah.